thank you so much for joining me. In this class, we're gonna flow in a way that really opens up the legs so that we can work towards a middle split. And I know that this is a big goal for a lot of people to achieve a middle split. But in this class with me, we're not just gonna be moving on the mats. I want this to be a little bit more than that because that's what yoga is. It's more than just the movements that we make. It's an opportunity to listen to our bodies, to be totally present and mindful, to use the tool of the asana as a way to learn about ourselves and understand ourselves a little bit better, to take this skill of being totally present and mindful out into our lives off of the mat. So no matter what happens, it, you know, if you struggle or if you're having fun or if you're not enjoying it, just think of it as the tool that it is to simply show you a little bit more about yourself and connect all of these different pieces of yourself. With that, we'll get started in a wide-legged seat. And just, just to get started, just, you know, kind of see where we are right at the beginning here. So don't push yourself deeper than where it feels good, but just spread your legs as wide as you can, right where you kind of start to get a bit of a stretch and have the toes pointing up towards the ceiling. And I want you to just sit here, maybe even close your eyes just for a couple of moments and just listen. Maybe move around a little bit, you know, you can point your toes and flex them or maybe bend the knees a little bit, straighten them a little bit, wiggle around in the hips if that feels good or maybe you wanna just be still. But just begin to actually listen. Pay attention to the sensations throughout your body but I'm sure that they're mostly in your legs. You know, where does it feel that you're a bit tight? Where does it feel that you're a bit weak, perhaps? Just understand what it means for you as an individual, knowing that your body is a little bit different to every other person's body in the world. So what is it that you are feeling? And even though we are all slightly different, of course, we all have our unique weaknesses and strengths. It is very common for a lot of people to be very weak in the hip adductors, these muscles in the inner thighs. And weak muscles often also feel tight. So we'll be working on stretching these muscles out as we work towards middle splits, but also strengthening. So first things first, go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together with the knees bent. And if you're not already, turn to face the short side of your yoga mat. So bring the heels a comfortable distance away from your hips where you're maybe feeling a little bit of a stretch. Continue a smooth, steady, even breath. You can bring your hands behind you or to make it a little bit harder, keep your hands up. You'll lean back a little bit and can you pick your feet up and keep pressing your feet together towards each other. Whew, lower them down and again repeat. Lean back so you can lift the feet up Press the soles of the feet in towards each other and lower back down. Lean forward this time, give it a little stretch. Last time, lean back, pick the feet up, press them into each other. Breathe, smile, and lower them back down. Lean forward to stretch that out. Cool. Now roll onto your back, but keep this butterfly position, this diamond shape of your legs. Shimmy your, uh, yourself so that your hips are quite close to your heels. Keep the soles of the feet together. Have your hands down by your sides. Now start to squeeze the glutes and lift the hips up, keeping the knees wide. Inhale, exhale as you lower. We'll do two more. Inhale, lift the hips up. Try and keep the knees wide, exhale, lower. You're not trying to push to any particular place, so just go where it feels good. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. Now, if you felt like that was just enough for you, you can carry on, or if you wanna take it up a notch, extend your right leg up towards the ceiling, keep the left leg where it is, and again, lift the hips up, keeping that left knee out wide and lower down. Two more, lift it up, lower down, so you're on the outside of your left foot, lift it up, squeeze your glutes, lower it down. Lower the right foot down to meet the left, back where you started, and lift the left foot up. Press down through the outside of the right foot, lift the hips up, and lower, oh, this is so hard. Lift up, and lower. Last one, lift up, 
and lower back down. Bring both knees up and to your chest and just roll out your back a little bit, maybe roll up and down and eventually can you roll all the way up to stand. So bring your feet about hip width distance with the toes pointing forward, take a deep breath in, allow it to expand your belly outwards. Exhale out through the nose. One more time, inhale through the nose. Exhale. Good, inhale again, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, fold down, bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, step the left foot back. Keep the left knee lifted and hop straight back up to your standing split. So keep the chest low down on the right thigh, reach the left leg up. Bend the left knee, allow the hip to open up and walk your hands over towards the right side of you. Extend your left hand and your left knee away from each other as much as you can. Just getting a stretch through the body here as you breathe. Take an inhale. As you exhale, walk the hands back to center, straighten the left knee and lower the left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Walk your hands back so they come to the inside of your right foot. You can stay here in this lizard lunge, lower the back knee down or kind of go in the same position, that kind of same kind of shape that we did before where you come onto the outside of the right foot and let the knee go out to the side can be really nice as well. If you just start to put a little bit of weight then in that foot, shifting the weight off of your hands and into that right foot. Keep the glutes squeezed, especially that left one. And we'll come back through center, take an inhale with the hands flat, exhale, press it back to a downward facing dog with the right leg still lifted up. Open up the hip, keep the right leg straight. As you exhale, close the hip. So imagine you're trying to bring that right hip as close to the mat as you can. And we're going to twist around trying to get the right hip lower than the left. Open it back up again. Open the right hip as high towards the ceiling as you can. And then lower the right hip down as far as you can. You'll do a little bit of a twist. One more time. Open it up. And exhale. Close it and twist. Good, lower the right foot down to the mat and bring the feet about the width of the mat. So nice and wide. Come up onto the tiptoes and begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend your knees and lower your hips as you go. So we'll come into this tiptoe squat position and you can move around here. Maybe it feels good for you to keep the heels down, maybe you need to keep the heels up. Just think about driving your knees as far back behind you as you can, and you're gonna use your glutes to do this. So you can even get a little bit of a twerk going as you feel the difference between having your glutes active and the glutes not working. Just stretching out here. Try not to relax into it too much. If you're one of those super bendy types, try and keep a bit of activity in the muscles. And then we'll walk the hands back to where they were in that downward facing dog. Bring the feet back to hip width distance at the back of the mat. When you get there, lift your right leg up. Keep it as straight as you can. Lift the left heel, rock your shoulders forward over the wrists. Keep your right leg as straight as possible as you bring it all the way around the outside of you to bring it to the outside of the right hand. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Once again, find a little squat and stand back up again. Bring the feet about hip width distance once more. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back, then hop immediately off of that right foot into a standing split. Lower your chest down over your left thigh. Keep that right leg as high up towards the ceiling as you can. You should be feeling it in your right glutes. Now bend the right knee and open the hip. 
walk your fingertips over towards the left side of you. Really pay attention to the right hand and the right knee. Imagine you're trying to create as much distance and space between them as you can. And keep breathing into this space along the side of the body. Keep pulling your right heel towards your butt. And on your next exhale, slowly bring your hands back to center, straighten the right leg, bend to the left, lower your right foot down to the back of the mat, walk your hands slightly back so they come to the inside of the left foot. So again, you can stay here or just lower the knee, but what I would really encourage is to let the left knee come out to the side, balancing on the outside of the left foot and maybe even rock some of your weight over into that left foot off of your hands. Take it really easy. But what we're doing whenever we're loading our muscles with weight against gravity in these ranges of motion, we're teaching the nervous system that they, the muscles, they have a purpose in this range of motion, that the joints are safe in this range of motion. And so that makes our brain, our nervous system, more comfortable with going into these shapes. So bring the left knee back to center, the hands back to the floor, step your left leg all the way back, bring it up into your three-legged down dog, open up the hip. So bring the left hip high up towards the ceiling, and then we'll lower it down through a kind of neutral hip shape and twist it slightly to bring the left hip down lower than the right, open back up. Two more times, lower it. Left hip is coming down, 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 even lower than the right hip. And then untwist, lift the left hip up once more. Last time, lower it all the way down. Lift it up, and then as you bring it back down to the mat, bring the feet as wide as the mat, come up onto the tiptoes, bend your knees, lower your hips down over your heels as you walk back to this squat. So same as before, maybe noticing that it feels a little bit different this time, maybe feeling a little bit easier, a little bit better. Maybe you're already feeling like your inner thighs are gonna be sore tomorrow. So really try and use your own strength to push your knees back towards the wall behind you using your glutes. And then we'll go back to our downward facing dog. Walking the hands forward, bring the feet back to hip width distance, then extend the left leg up behind you. Inhale, as you exhale, come up onto the tiptoes of the right foot, rock your shoulders forward with the left knee bent or straight, take it out to the side, nice and slow with control, step it to the outside of your left hand. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, hop the right foot forward to meet the left. Just a moment in this squat, then stand all the way up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Bring your feet back to hip width distance. Take a breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen the crown of the head away from the tailbone, just coming up halfway. As you exhale, bring your hands down, step your left foot to the back, walk your hands to the inside of the right foot, come into your lizard lunge. Now we're gonna swivel around, so swivel on both feet. So lift the heel of the right foot so you can swivel around, just walk your hands around as you go towards the left until we come into this side squat, skandasana. Can you pick your left toes up so they point up towards the ceiling. Like we've been doing before, think about pushing the knee of the left leg out towards the back. So we're externally rotating, getting that movement that we need. So you can do this without hands or with them. We're gonna stand all the way up, bend into the left knee, straighten the right, then straighten the right knee and turn both feet parallel so that the toes are both pointing in the same direction. Imagine now you're trying to squeeze your legs together. You wanna to slide your legs together. So really, really squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. 
Take an inhale. As you exhale, release and turn the feet out wide. Bend into the knees into your little goddess pose. And I really like to hold onto my hips when I do these so that I don't go into some kind of funky hip tilt. But I'm trying to keep my hips neutral. And really thinking about pressing my knees out wide, going as far back as possible. Inhale here. Whew. And then we'll straighten up. Uh, bring the feet back to face the front. And again, squeeze the legs together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Whew. Cool. Release and lower the hips down as you bend the knees. Turn the feet out wide. Make sure that your knees are going in the same direction as your toes. And if they're not, then maybe adjust your toes. But also, can you use your glutes to drive your knees back a little bit more? Oh, OK, we'll stand up. Turn the right foot to face the side. Turn the left foot to face the back of your mat. Bend into the left knee. Slide your left hand down. It doesn't matter if it reaches the floor or not. Wherever it goes, the action that I want you to think of here is pressing your left arm into the left knee and simultaneously press the left knee into the left arm. So you should be really feeling it then in that inner thigh of the left leg. Make sure that the right foot isn't collapsing inwards though as well. So bring a little bit of attention to that right foot. Lift up through the inner arches. Keep pressing the right, the left arm and the left leg towards each other. Straighten the left knee. Keep pressing and bend. It doesn't matter if you can't go all the way straight. We're going to do two more. Just keep pressing. Bend. Whew. Last one. Straighten. Keep pressing them into each other. And bend. Whew. Cool. Straighten one more time. And then release. Turn the left foot back to the side of the mat, parallel with the right foot back to your wide-legged forward fold. And what I want you to do here now is just wiggle your hips from side to side. Nice and slow, okay? So don't go too fast. And I want you to pay attention as you push your hips to one side or the other. Is there one side that feels a bit tighter? One side that feels a bit janky? Just to notice that, and it is completely normal to have a little bit of discrepancy in your hips. We do tend to have one side of the body that's kind of our dominant side, and the hips will reflect that, and that's fine, but it can be just useful simply to be aware. So I like to do this little movement here. So turn your right foot now back to the front of the mat, bend into the right knee, and just smoothly make your way up to a warrior two facing the front of your mat. Make sure that the left foot is lifting up through the middle. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, hop off of your left foot, come to stand on your right, lower your right hand down. <laughs> Little half moon pose. So extend the left leg as straight as you can with the toes pointing over towards the left side of your mat. We're just gonna bounce here a little bit. So lower the left foot down and lift it back up as high as you can for five, lower and lift, four, lower and lift, three, lower, lift, two, lower, Lift, last one, lower. Lift it as high as you can. Bend into the right knee. Extend your left foot back to the back of the mat. Then lift up the left heel. Swivel around to bring your chest to face the front. Lower your left hand down. Extend your right arm up. And go ahead and walk your right foot over towards the side a little bit. So have your left hand on the edge of your mat and the right foot on the other edge of the mat. Come up onto the outside of that right foot and allow the right knee to go out to the side. Same movement that we've done. Oh, here's what we're gonna do now. Take a hop off of the left foot, bring it through your left hand and the right foot, lower your hips down. Keep the right knee out to the side on the right, outside of the right foot, lift the hips up back into this weird bridge variation that we did before. Roll your hips back down, come to sit, lift your hips up, Extend your left leg back into this knee out to the side revolved lunge. We'll do two more of those. So take an inhale, fill your body with that oxygen before we go. Hop off of the left foot, 
Shoot the left foot through the middle, lower your hips down, lift the hips up with the right knee out, lower the hips down, roll up, shoot the left leg back, last one, hop it through, lower the hips, lift them up, right knee stays out to the side the whole time, roll up, shoot your left leg back, good, lower the right hand down, take a little hop off of the left leg and bring your left leg up towards the ceiling, open up the hips. Keep the hands where they are, or you can come up onto the fingertips, modify in whatever way you need. Bend the left knee. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly lower the left leg down to the mat and bring yourself up to stand. Bring the feet hip width distance once again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, step the right foot back, shimmy the left leg out to the side, bring your hands down to the middle. Just a moment here and come up onto the tiptoes of your left foot. Use your hands, swivel yourself around towards the right. Keep the left knee bent. The right foot might have to do a little bit of shimmying, but eventually bring yourself around to a skandasana kind of pose. Maybe you stay on the toes of the left foot. Maybe you can lower the left heel down, but try and keep that right foot pointing up towards the ceiling, using the right glutes to help externally rotate it. Good. From here, we'll stand up, hit a warrior two facing the back of your mat. Take an inhale as you exhale, straighten the right knee. Turn both feet to face the right side of your mat. So make sure that the inner arches of the feet are lifting up, you're not collapsing in. Squeeze the glutes and imagine you wanna try and pull, 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 pull your legs towards each other. Now, you can just stay here or as an option for this side, you can do the same thing with the feet a little bit wider. So take the feet a bit further apart. This makes it much more challenging. But again, here you squeeze, 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 okay? And I invite you to work on this on your own, maybe going down onto your hands to go even wider and try and squeeze the legs together and go as far down as you like. But for now, we're going to stay where we are, turn the feet wide, bend into the knees, lower the hips down into this goddess pose, and shimmy around here. Just make sure that you've still got the knees driving out. And this does make it harder the further the knees go out. So really work hard here, then straighten the knees, turn the feet back in towards each other, and once again, lift the inner arches and pull the feet towards each other. Good, one more time. Turn the feet out wide, bend into the knees, lower the hips. Keep pressing the knees back behind you. Good, pull the feet towards each other one more time. And then relax, lower your hands down to support you. And just wiggle your hips a little bit from side to side, same as before. So we stand up and squeeze the legs into each other. And then release, turn the right foot to face the back of the mat, bend into the right knee. If you are really, really wide, you may wanna just adjust your stance, come into a good old warrior two. Remember, make sure the inner arches of that left foot are lifting up. That means that the muscles are gonna be doing the work that are required there. Then take the right hand to the inside of the right knee, slide it down just as much as you can. It doesn't matter how far it goes. Keep pressing the right arm and the right knee into each other. The right knee is bent and we're gonna to go towards straight. Doesn't matter if you straighten it all the way or not, just keep pressing the arm and the knee into each other. Bend into it and go towards straight. Bend Whew, and straight. Last time, bend it and straighten. Lower the hands down, swivel the right foot back to the side of the mat so the feet are once again parallel. And if you want to just shimmy your legs a little bit further away from each other, again, you can do that or just stay where it feels good and we're gonna do the same thing. Just very gently swaying the hips from side to side. This is probably a bit of a weird angle for this move. Um, oh well. <laughs> Good. Bring the feet a little bit closer towards each other. Swivel the left foot back to the front. Rise up into your warrior two. Take a little hop off of your right foot. 
Lower your left hand down to the mat in front of you. Extend the right arm up and the right leg up. Make sure that your right toes are pointing out to the right side. So you should be really feeling your gluteus medius, especially working here. So we're just gonna dip that right foot down and then lift it up for five. Dip it down, lift it up, four. Dip it down, lift it up, three. Dip it, lift it, dip it. Lift it, good, bend into the left knee, lower the right foot down, swivel onto the toes of the right foot and lower the right hand down. Walk the left foot a little bit away from you so that the right hand is on the edge of the mat, the outside of the left foot is on the other edge of the mat. Bend into the left knee, take it out to the side so it's just the outside of your left foot that's holding the weight. Just like we did before, straighten the left arm up towards the ceiling. Just give yourself a little bit of a twist. And then take a hop off of the right foot. Extend the right leg straight out in front of you. Lower the hips down. Keep the left knee out to the side as you lift the hips up. Roll back up. Hand goes down. Right hand goes down. Pick the hips up. Extend the right leg back behind you. Two more. A little bit faster this time. Hop off of the right foot. Extend the right leg forward. Roll back. Lift the hips and the right leg up with the left knee pointing out. Roll back down. Pick up your hips. Extend the right leg back behind you. Take it all the way through. Straight away. Lower the hips. Lift the hips up with the left knee out. Lower the hips down. Take it all the way back. Whew. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left hand back underneath the shoulder. Bring the left knee back in. Take a hop off of the right leg. Come into a standing split with the hips open. Move your hands if you need to, where you can just kind of get an open space creating kind of feeling. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the right foot back down to the mat. And from here, we'll just go ahead and sit all the way down, roll all the way back onto our backs. Extend the legs straight up. Maybe just give them a little shake out. They've done a lot of work for us already. And with the toes pointed, can you externally rotate slightly? So try and bring the heels together. Then slowly with control, not letting gravity do the work, but slowly just putting your legs into a place as you spread them wide. Then lift them up about 10%, lower them down again, lift them all the way up to touch. We're gonna do 10 of those. So it's a little lower down with control, a little bounce, and then lift back up. So nine more, lower down with control, do a little bounce, lift back up, that's eight. Lower down, bounce, lift back up, seven, lower down, bounce, lift back up, six. Lower with control, bounce, and lift with control. Lower with control, bounce, lift, four more. Lower, bounce, lift, lower, bounce, lift. Two more, lower, bounce, lift. Last one, lower, bounce, lift. Moving on to the next thing, lower your legs back down. Just keep them there. And can you then bring your knees together as if you're trying to get them in line with your face so your hips may lift up as well. Then bring them out wide and use it to roll yourself up to sitting. So we'll take it all the way back. Keep the legs wide. Then slowly bring the legs together. Let the hips come up. Lower all the way down to roll back up. We'll try that three more times. Roll back, hips come up as the feet come together. Roll all the way up to sitting. Two more times, roll back, hips come up, legs come together, legs go wide, roll up. Maybe start to get a little bit of a bend there. Last time, roll back, hips up, legs wide as you roll back. And now everyone, take a little forward bend as you come into this wide-legged now you stay where you are, I'm just gonna turn so I'm facing you once again. And in this wide-legged seat, maybe you just wanna adjust, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Maybe you notice 
different sensations in your legs to how you felt when we started. Now you may just wanna stay here. Try not to be completely relaxed with it though. Like if you're like me, your legs may flop inwards, some people's legs flop outwards. Try and keep a little bit of activation so that your knees kind of stay pointing up towards the ceiling as much as possible. Or you can begin to lean forwards. Fingertips, hands, elbows, chest flat, whatever feels right for you now. And also I encourage you to do some little wiggles. Just keep pressing your legs gently into the mat so you keep a little bit of activation in your muscles. And you may even feel like you can start to roll forward. So let the knees roll forward with you as you come towards a metal split. And remember what I said at the beginning, please don't be discouraged if you're not reaching your goals. First of all, these things do take time. Secondly, some of us have different skeletal structures that allow us less or more mobility in the hips. So just wherever you are, remember to use it as a tool to help yourself understand this vessel that you live in and what it means to be here in this present moment. So if it feels good for you, or if you feel like you're really getting somewhere, feel free to pause the video and carry on stretching in your middle splits. Remember, it's best to have a mixture of lengthening the muscles and strengthening them. That's how we build long-term mobility. But for now, I encourage you and I invite you to bring the legs together and roll back onto your back. Bring the right knee in front of the left with the knees bent and pull gently the knees towards you in a little reclined cow face pose. Take a deep breath here and let it go. Inhale, unravel your legs. Take the left knee then on top of the right with both knees bent gently. Guide your knees towards your chest. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, shake it out. Make any other movements that you feel you need in your body, perhaps a few twists. We only really did one twist in this class, so it might be nice to finish off just going into a little twist on each side. But when you're ready, when you feel like you've prepared your body properly, please take a moment to rest with your eyes closed. You can take your traditional Shavasana, or if there's any other position that you feel is right for you right now, please do. With your eyes closed, just take a moment once again to be present, to use your breath, use your awareness of how your body is feeling right now, to keep you right here in this present moment. Remembering that this is all there really is, is the present. So I invite you to stay there for as long as you need. I thank you once again for joining me in this class. Namaste.